So you can send your Final Cut Pro project from your iPad to your Mac, but you can't send it back to your iPad. Really? That sucks. Well, it turns out you can send it back to your iPad and the Transfer Toolbox app makes this quick and easy. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily round trip your Final Cut Pro project in your Mac and your iPad. Chris Hawking from Late Night Films, the brilliant mind behind Command Post, has figured out how to do this and he even made an app to make this super easy. All you do is drop your Final Cut Pro library into Transfer Toolbox, where it automatically gets converted to an iPad compatible FCP project file and send it to your iPad. Okay, there's a little bit more to it, but that's the gist of it. Let's take a closer look at this process. First, you have to make sure you're running Final Cut Pro 10.6.6 .6 or later. This will not work with earlier versions. Also, to work properly, your library can only have one event in it. This is simple if you know you're going to be round tripping before you start. All you do is make a new library with only one event in it. But most of us, myself included, will want to transfer a project we're already working on inside a library with a number of different events. This is also really easy. For this demo, I have a short project on my Mac and I'm going to send it to my iPad to add one of the new intelligent soundtracks and maybe a couple live drawings. First, make a new Final Cut Pro library and give it a name you're going to remember. This will be a temporary library, so I would set the location of it somewhere where it's easily accessible, like on your desktop. Go back to your library with a project you want to move, select your project, and from the menu bar select File and Copy Project to Library. Select your temporary library, make sure to include your original media, and press OK to copy your project. This will make a new event in your temporary library, so once your project is copied over, go back and delete the original event so you only have one in this library. With the library selected, in the inspector window, click Modify Settings for Storage Locations and make sure your media and motion content is set to In Library. Click the Consolidate buttons for your media and motion content just to make sure everything you need is inside this library. Close Final Cut Pro. Now, we need to convert this FCP bundle library file to an iPad compatible FCP project file. And this is where the transfer toolbox comes in super handy. Just open it up, drag your library into this window, and grant it sandbox access. Your library will instantly be converted to an FCP for iPad project, and it will be saved in the same location as your original library, which in my case is right to my desktop. You can now airdrop this to your iPad, save it in iCloud, or use an external drive to move it over. That's what I'm going to do for this example. I'll simply drag this file over to my external drive, eject it, and plug it into my iPad. To open it, I just go to the Files app on my iPad, select my external drive, and tap on the FCP project file to open it. Once the project finishes importing, I'll tap the Edit button to edit this project on my iPad. Sending this project back to Final Cut Pro on Mac is even easier. Just hit the Share button and export it as a Final Cut Pro for iPad project. Airdrop this project to your Mac. Double-click the FCP project file and select the Save Destination. This will open up your project in a new library where you can pick up right where you left off. If you want to, you can now copy this project back to your original library and delete all your temporary libraries. I know this seems like a lot of hassle, but hear me out. This isn't so much about round trip and libraries as is, but more so about proving that this is possible. Chris was able to figure this out within a couple days of Final Cut Pro for iPad release, and I think that very same day he built Transfer Toolbox. What I'm showing you here is the first version of this app, and it's only going to get better from here. Another thing Chris had mentioned on his Twitter is that it might even be possible to edit in Final Cut Pro on iPad from an external drive. If you're a Final Cut Pro user, you need to follow Chris on Twitter. This man is a genius. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here next week.